when it comes to Clay Thompson's bass, people were upset when I chose not to replicate his wide leg bass in my NBA 2K21 signature shot. Clay Thompson is the greatest spot up shooter of all time. Sometimes he shoots with a wide leg bass, sometimes he doesn't. He has options. My point being, we already captured his standard, quote unquote, standard jump shot last year. If you like that base, then feel free to use the shot from last year. This shot this year is going to focus much more on the wide leg base and the adjustments that we need to make to make the shot still look natural with the new base. Anyways, for Clay's new base, we use set shot nine. It's the only wide leg base that I really like for Clay, and it doesn't do that weird thing where he bends his leg inwards like the mocapped quote unquote Clay Thompson base does. It looks a lot more natural and a lot less awkward. For Clay Thompson's release, the release is mostly the same as last year. It's a perfect replica of Clay's shot. However, there are two details that I want to point out. Number one is his shot. In his shot, he is in shot ready with his feet still on the ground. That is a critical detail for Clay. What that means is he is almost fully into his jump shot form while his feet are still on the ground and that shooting arm is at a 90 degree angle. For Clay's offhand, he has a slight waving motion. Uh, there's, there's no thumb flick, it's, it's a flat release. One thing I want to say about all the animations that we're going to be seeing from here on out, all of these animations and footage came from the 2022 season. This is an updated Clay Thompson. When we start first and foremost with the free throw, this is his form, looks very good. Uh, it might be mocap, not sure, but I've never changed from the default Clay Thompson free throw. When we go with the dribble pull up, I went with Trey Young here. Really what I was looking for is the way that Clay kind of like has his legs in the air. I thought this was the most accurate. So for both the dribble pull up and the spin jumper, I went with Trey Young. Now for the hop jumper, this is actually default, normal, it's a lot of normal Textbook quick step backs has always been what Clay has done, uh, matches his game perfectly. Here we get a chance to take a look at the layups and the dunks. For Clay Thompson's post game, for post fade, we go with basic, and for the hop shot, we go with pro two. The reason is it's for he has a low vertical on his fades, and he usually twists like his full body around when he's doing a fadeaway going to his right.
for Clay Thompson's handle. The default is D-Wade. I don't like that. I think it's too flashy. Clay Thompson, even though he's dribbling a little bit more back from in injury, he's a straight line driver. So I go with something very basic. You can go with basic um, or you can go with Kevin Durant, which I think was normal uh, last year. But those are the only two that I would advise for Clay Thompson. Thompson.